what's up guys welcome back to another video this is a different video that i don't really do more often but i'd like to do more of which is like how to videos and type stuff and i'm actually gonna be in the garage today because well right it's like super windy outside and we have like tornado warnings and stuff so yeah i'm gonna try and stand here because if i go out there it's blowing like 100 mile an hour winds basically but what i'm gonna be doing is a how-to video on how to spool a bait caster and this is just the way I do it. There's tons more videos out there that you can watch to find different ways that people do it. But this is the way I personally do it. And so, yeah, you can find a different way to do it, but I'm just gonna show you how, how I do it. The first thing you're gonna need is a bait caster, obviously. So you can put the line onto it. The next thing you're gonna need is your line. However, I chose this Seaguar 101 um, 15 pound fluorocarbon line. And I got it from Sportsman's Warehouse, I believe, for like 20 bucks. I really like the Seaguar fluorocarbon because it's strong. It doesn't feel cheap like some other brands. The next thing you're going to need is some sort of clippers or a knife or something to be able to cut the line. The next thing you'll need is some sort of bait that you're going to put on the end, whether it be um, a hook with a uh, tungsten weight on it for flipping, pitching or jigs in this case i have a red and orange chatter bait that i'm going to put on there which is a bladed jig and then what i use to put the spool of line on is a hook that you'd put in like a tree for like when you're hunting to hang your stuff up and whatnot this is what i use you don't have to use anything else you can use a pencil or a pen but this is just what i personally use and then obviously with that, you're going to need some sort of wood to put the hook into. And so in this case, I'm going to be using the workbench. So I'm just going to screw it in and then just spool my line off of that. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be taking this hook and just drilling it and screwing it in right here at the bottom of this board right here. And then I'm just going to put my line on there and it'll sit right there and it can't go and get off of that. So let's go ahead and screw this in. All right, so once you have your hook on there, you need to put the line on next. So there we go, we got the line on there, and as you can see, it can't get off of that, so it's good for that, perfect. Get over here, get some line out, pull it out, and what I do first is I run it through all the guides on the rod. As you can see, get it here, just run it through the guides sometimes it can be a bit tricky especially on these small ones and you just do this all the way down the rod all right so once you make it through your last eye loop you're gonna get it to the reel and you have a little this thing right here, it goes back and forth when you're reeling. You're gonna go through that and get it right here. So now you're through that little bit. And then what I do is flip, put your uh, push your button, run it through, run it through one of these holes and out the other, like so. And pull it and so now as you can see I'm through these two holes and then basically I tie it from this one and that right there and just do like three or four overhand knots and that's all I do I don't do any special knot just simple overhand knots and get it tight I'm gonna make sure you're pulling it tight not too tight because you don't want to snap the line. So as you can see, it's on there tight. Do about one or two more. 
All right, so once you get to this point, you got your knots on there. Need to pull those a little tighter, but you got your knots and get your clippers and cut this tag end right here. It's hard to get down there with the knife. As you can see, these marks on the sides and even on the little button right here. That's for, those are from knife marks. This is me trying to use a knife to cut it out. It doesn't always work the best, so especially when you have a dull knife. So I recommend getting clippers or scissors so you can cut that tag right there. And make sure you don't cut the wrong line because it's not very fun having to do it all over again. Trust me, I know from experience. So you're gonna get your clippers and pretty simple, just cut it close, but not too far. That. Then you pull this tight and it shouldn't come off. There we go. Now you're ready to spool. And I'd like to apologize for all the bad videoing. Like I said, it's my first time doing this, so it's not easy. Once you have your knot done like that, you're ready to spool. Make sure no line's tangled up or anything around your line of spool. And then what I do is I moist my fingers, so just like lick these two right here so that the line can just guide through it smoothly. Because I hold it, because you want to have on there on the spool tight so you're not getting a bunch of backlashes. So I just go like this and just start reeling basically. Get it on there nice and tight. Make some funny sounds sometimes because your fingers are a little moist. And you don't want to put too much line, but you don't want to put not enough on. So you really just got to find the balance point and see what works for you. It took me a while to get figure out the right amount I needed. I'd always put too much or not enough on. So when I would cast, it would go like all the way down to the knot, which should not happen. All right, so once you get however much line you want, and this one is weird because it goes all up on this side and not a lot on that side, but it'll even out once you start casting and stuff like that. So this is how much line I'm gonna get on it, and then I'll show you what you do from here. So you come over here to where your spool of line is, and you basically just get it and cut it, and there you are. Now this is on, and. I get this little piece of tape right here and just tighten this up like that. Go to the one on the sides here and then basically just tape that on right there. So now it's not going nowhere and it's clean spool. No lines going out anywhere. So that's how I tie that up. Then you take it off the hook and put it away obviously. All right, so now what you do, you got your end line right here. You need to tie on your lure. In this case, like I showed you guys before, I'm gonna be using this chatterbait right here. So what I tie to put this on is a polymer knot. There's plenty of videos out there to show you how to tie this knot. So I'm not gonna show you guys. And so I'm gonna get this tied on and then we'll be all set and ready to go, and ready to go fishing. There we are. We got my knot tied on right there on the chatterbait. We're ready to go fishing. And there we go. I got the uh, rod sleeve back on and the bait is right here, all tied on. Got my line all spooled up. We're ready to go catch a bass, baby. Let's go. All right, guys. So I know this is a different type of video, but I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you want to see more how-to videos on fishing and tips and everything like that, just comment down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll catch you on the next one.